First, from Bloomberg via MSN.com, Israel to draft reservists to help fight coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, getting a big face bomb from Jim over here. My sentiments exactly. We, it, I, this isn't like an I told you so moment. Like, I told you this was going to happen. But, yeah, like I told you, the military industrial complex runs politics. You think it's different in Israel? I mean, what's the United States military? Do you think the military is getting smaller because of Corona? They're spending less money? No, no, not at all. Israel plans to draft as many as 3,000 reservists during the next two weeks to help rein in the coronavirus outbreak. The defense ministry said the reservists, most from the home front command, will assist with epidemiological investigations and provide extra staffing for quarantine hotels. This That's an offensively big word. That's why I said it that way. I don't, it's not because I can't epidemiological. Virus and virus studies. What, what are you doing? Really, this is really, we're not, we're not investigating the virus. We're having epidemiolo epidemiological investigations. And provide extra stuff. God damn. I'm, I'm sick of the coronavirus. Not from the coronavirus. Not with the coronavirus. I'm sick of the coronavirus. Get it right. Uh, the, they'll also boost the command's presence in cities with a relatively large number of infections. There are more than 72,000 confirmed coronavirus cases in Israel to date, including more than 530 fatalities. If you believe they're silly, misattributed numbers, deliberately inflated to justify the military growing all over the world. All like, and, uh, and you know, Adam, why do you care about resisting mask policy? Is this not enough justification? To take away their justification for the evil of militarism. Again, bigger perspective I'd like to bring to this is that the racket has gone down in scale. We don't have we we went from you know World War One, World War Two, and, and this, these still represent declines in violence over the course of human history in proportion. You know World War Two, World War One. All right, well now it's, it's Vietnam, it's the Cold War, it's proxy wars. Well now it's it's the global war on terror. Well now it's the global war on the virus. Okay, well it's it's getting milder with each iteration, but make no mistake, it is an iteration of evil. And literally still, the, vi the war on the virus is being used as an excuse all over the world to perpetuate the evil of militarism. The plan to involve the military more was pushed by Israel's new coronavirus czar, who was appointed last month to try to formulate a coherent strategy to combat the surge in cases and deaths that followed Israel's reopening of its economy after a near-total lockdown. You mean you totally locked down the economy and did not have a coherent strategy? Well, they did, but their strategy was, and I don't know, Who's the new coronavirus star? How much you want to bet he's got some stocks in some military industrial complex companies or some other way he's profiteering off of this? Yeah. And the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. The world becomes a dimmer, darker, more violent place because we have fallen for another racket. And in Singapore, it's even worse. New York Post, nypost.com. Singapore to make travelers wear electronic tags to enforce quarantine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the disturbing new normal. I mean, I, and I don't mean to say that like this is going to be the normal everywhere all over the world or that we're about to get bullied into hazmat suit world. I do think the cloud of the coronavirus will lift at some point. Uh, if things generally continue as they are, you know, 
end of the year maybe ish you know it seems like things are are kind of coming down in terms of government policy in some ways is there going to be a new virus i don't know are they are they going to come up with some new excuse hey look at how, how much people are going along with maybe we just keep this thing going hey we're making so much money keeping people scared of nonsense why we don't have to kill people we just have to divert resources in a way that inadvertently get people killed. But, you know, we had no problem with drone strikes. So why not, you know, a little misdirection of medical resources if, if it means we still get to profiteer the same way. So the, in terms of the new normal, I mean, like this is now, yeah, the technology with, with the governments around the world as we know them today and the technology we have responding to a virus crisis, real or imagined, means that this is normal now. Singapore will.